Today we're going to be taking this level 3 bard into the solo crypts. We got same perks as last time. We got charismatic performance, double music memory. And these are the songs that I like to run when I play solo. Jump straight in. So the point of this run is we're trying to make it to hell, we're trying to make some money, and I'll show you exactly how to do it with no gear, just default bard gear. We just start every game the same way. Just a bit buffing. I always like getting light foots. Crossbow guys, you really have to respect their damage. Especially as a naked bard or naked any class. survivable is kind of hard to clear as a solo. There's a Wraith, a Champion, and a bunch of other mobs. Just trying to make sure they're everything before we get to the Wraith. And for the Wraith, it's a really easy trick. Really easy with the ring here, especially. You just stand on top of one of these staircases. You get free hits. Should be very quickly. And we end up getting some nice barred pants. Take those. Champion right there. Kill the spider. Bait the champion over. New strap. So since he's coming up from the top, he might be able to hit us. Actually... Okay. Let's reset. This 
one, you might have to jump up Monix. Sure. Not gonna risk it. Nicer rapier, pretty decent. Pants. Rapier upgrade's gonna be huge for us. that song up over there. Yeah, hurt us pretty bad. I'm gonna try to greet for this hell shrine over here. I think that no one taking it right now. I think it's actually on this side up over here. Bug. So it's over here. With Bard, you can take shrines really quickly, so. Green Rapier, we're actually doing a lot more damage. Gonna make the PVE a lot quicker. Thought it hurt someone, but it sounds like it was just a skeleton door. see a cleric buffed bard, you do not want to engage in that, for sure. We are gonna eventually come around to him. Not ideal, but... Definitely don't want to take a fight with a cleric barb. Someone boss room. Okay, so we have to go around to the bar, no other choice. They are cheesing it, which kind of gives me an opportunity. Oh, Unfortunately, it's a survivable, so it does no damage. I wanted to die the champ. We're just gonna try to bait out the hit again. Close. If he didn't die there, we would have taken a hit for sure. We're gonna try to juke around this champion. This guy in anything real quick. And we are pretty low, but. Shrines back up. Just gonna try to do both. Try 
gotta go for it later. There is a trick that you can do. What these guys were doing kind of. Go on top of the heal shrine. Take it, and it won't hit you. So I'm pretty sure this guy's low. Actually don't wanna take extra damage here. By now there should be a bunch of reds. So cool. I don't really mind not looting. And there is a red here. Take it. Sit down. One thing really important to note is that when you sit down in health, like in this pregame lobby, you will get extra recoverable health back. So if you go in early, you can get this bar back. And when you go into health, there should be more recoverable health. Should be enough to get me to full here. So, this run is actually done a lot better when you're level 5 and you have access to the 100 luck perk. The loot in hell will still be good enough for us, for sure. Same as always, we got the hallway spawn. This spawn. I don't want to be careful. So there. Start off. We have a nightmare. It's not very common at all. You hit. Hit the shield, you will take a lot of damage. Oh, so we got stuck in the barrel, it's unfortunate. So that's the danger with this room. If you go too far in the hallway without dealing them one at a time. They will kind of punish you to get unlucky mobs like battle axe skeletons. That one was a spear guy, he was pretty tough, but the attack patterns are very telegraphed. Spiders behind that door. Do not want to open that. Got a falchion here. Let's keep that for future runs, maybe. And I'd like to just take a seat here. Don't really like taking any chances in hell, especially with default gear. I do see that someone died, which is kind of concerning. So for this room we got two zombies, two dogs. Just gonna deal with them one at a time. Oh wow, those are very nice le leggings. Some extra damage. We're gonna pull one of the dogs here. Not gonna use both shots, but 
definitely want to pull this hallway. Just move around. Back to the side. Oh, that was very painful. Yeah, don't go in the doorway or stuff like that. We'll end up getting punished pretty hard for it. And Most important thing to do is just stay calm. I'm just gonna play Trank here. Sit down. So you see with the Demon Dog, he does a lot of damage and he can punish you pretty hard. You just don't want to make sure you have a room behind you to kite. That's the biggest thing. It's also nice if you have a ranged weapon to, to initially pull. There is a hell shrine up there, which I want to eventually get. We need to clear some mobs first. Um. Let's pull the other dog here. Hopefully, don't die. I like this hallway. Just um, go back to the side. If you want to play it safe, you just go for one poke. Now the archer should be pretty trivial. Just make sure you don't get hit by the crossy. I'm gonna do a lot of baiting here, which is not ideal. These guys, these crossbow guys will one-shot, so... I like to just apply Shriek from a distance, bait out a shot. Wait for the reload, and then go in. Ow. We do have to be very careful now. There is a heal shrine over there. Along with two juicy loot chests. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna try to go over here. Bait out two shots. This bat goat over here. Kill it. I like to apply shriek and then run. Two hits. My guy here. Ended up getting kind of lucky. Two line heads, we got a purple heater, that's gonna be nice. Extra lock picks, we don't need them. Really nice gloves here. This goes to show you how nice the hell loot is. And we've got two exits over here. Most important thing to do is just try to put it clear towards the zone. I think the mage might be on us, which is Just want to make sure the mage hits himself into the wall. Can't go for punish here, but not to. I 
I do hear a guy. So I'm just gonna quickly open this portal, try to get out. That was a very successful I'll run. So we ended up getting a lot of XP actually. We ended up getting level 3 to level 5, halfway there. Just from this run. The Steven's blood will sell for a lot, 50 gold. It's a rare drop from one of the Helm mobs. And just the sellables, we got 140. Plus all this gear. We got armor rating plate pads and a purple heater. MR. Gray Falchion for some naked runs. Lockpicks. Lantern we can sell. We made about. See, 185 gold plus all this gear that we got, which is pretty actually decent. Yeah, that's the run. Hope you guys enjoyed.